Good morning, I'm Jim Walsh with your Town Square Media News Update, sponsored by America's Home Loans. Looking to purchase or refinance? Call America's Home Loans at 222-0100. Governor Burgum has vetoed portions of nine bills passed by the legislature this week, including parts of the Public Employees Retirement System budget. One notable section the governor struck down would have had the state terminate its six-year health insurance contract with Sanford Health, uh, doing it two years early in 2019. Sanford began providing coverage in 2015 after outbidding Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota. A former Las Vegas stripper who ran a drug trafficking ring that stretched from Washington State to North Dakota has been sentenced to more than 17 years in federal prison. Her husband, a doctor who said he didn't know what was going on, has pleaded guilty to filing false federal tax documents. She was sentenced Tuesday. He faces up to a year at his sentencing in August. In South Dakota, police have stepped up patrols around a Dakota Access Pipeline site in Minnehaha County after vandalism was discovered. The Sheriff's Department says vandals broke through a chain-link fence recently that surrounds an above-ground section of the pipeline near Highway 19 north of Humboldt. A tappan angler recently landed a carp that set a North Dakota record, but it's how he did it that's really the story. Game and Fish says Derek Barnick took a 31-pound, 9-ounce common carp with a bow and arrow on April the 21st. The 36-inch fish broke the record of 31 pounds set back in 2003. And your forecast, sunshine looking good today, high of 81, clear and 50 tonight, and then more sunshine, high of 80 tomorrow. That's your Town Square Media News Update.